Medical Watch is sponsored by U Chicago Medicine. Sickness is relentless. So are we. Visit uchicagomedicine.org. Okay, on the Medical Watch Bionic Clothing. Medical reporter Dina Baer has more on the hidden technology. It's all about making mobility devices less obvious. Patients and their therapists want forward progress without the bulk. The latest design weaves function with fabric. Right from the beginning, it's been a gait issue. Paula Prentice was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis in 2003. My left foot drags. So as the signal um, is weaker to get to the muscle, the, and you see things like inability to pick up your toe. I go very slowly on purpose. I do not want to fall. For the last four years. This is a um, very strong cord that's used. She's worn a simple device that helps keep her foot level. It just keeps me from tripping at this point. <laughs> I just want to walk better. And she wants to continue her active lifestyle. Wow. Bye, guys. Whatever I can try that I think I can do, I do. Uh, go ahead. Everything's on? Yep. Okay. At the Shirley Ryan Ability Lab, she took something new for a test run. It is a bionic legging that is designed to assist mobility. Called the psionic neural sleeve, the wearable delivers electrical stimulation to four muscle groups. I don't think we totally know the limits of it, and we also know that it's not gonna work for everybody. The device is geared toward patients with MS, incomplete spinal cord injuries, and cerebral palsy. It detects a movement in muscle activity, so it relies on some movement of the individual, at which point we have algorithms that trigger muscle stimulation to assist their movement where they need it. I feel like I'm definitely getting good lift. We found that 94% of individuals who participated in the study had improved mobility um, while using the, the device in our back-to-back -back sessions. And then you can see the six gel pads for each of the panels, so the, the front of the shin and the back of the calf. Electrode arrays are embedded in the fabric of the sleeve. An external pack controls the level of stimulation. I think as the technology improves, the design then improves, and I think when the design improves, people are a lot more interested in it. They're a lot more willing to wear something that's a little less obvious or um, that weighs a few less pounds. Mobility devices range. Some are bulkier than others, but all share a common purpose. Mobility is the most um, important indicator of health. And so we want people to have pride in, uh, when they're improving their mobility. For Paula? I felt more balanced, and that is amazing right there. The sleeve showed promise. All I can think is exercise, 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 and this is going to help me do that. Go, Paula! The neural sleeve needs to be prescribed by a physician. Patients pay monthly $200 over the course of 12 months and can return the device if it doesn't work out for them. We have a link on our website. Back to you. A big difference.